of the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, our facility has uh, taken necessary precautions and measures to facilitate those that live in the barracks, the SIK members, and the ITDOM students. The civilians in, the, in uh, my 92 Gulf have adapted to the situation um, as it comes. Uh, there's a lot of different changes, uh, a lot of different schedule moves, but we've been able to uh, sustain our current situation. All members of the dining facility are required to get their uh, temperatures checked. Before they enter the building, they are to wash and sanitize their hands. And then at the beginning of a, our uh, chef's mount, we ask a series of questions. Have you felt you know, any of the symptoms that have been you know, known to this uh, pandemic prior to them entering the kitchen? The traditional food service uniform is a uh, chef coat, uh, pants, uh, headgear, gloves when working around food. And now that we are required to wear masks, that is a part of the uniform. This is a self-serve dining facility. Now we are required to turn the spoons around and uh, the, um, the personnel in the dining facility serve the students and the uh, SIK population. The, the head count has lowered significantly. Um, we're used to serving up to 2,000 per day. Now we're down to um, around 13 to 1,500 during the week and then weekends down to 900. So we have a, a team, an ice effect team that is uh, staged outside of the garrison area and we support them with mermites three meals a day for 14 days while they're in the uh, ice effect um, uh, facility. Here at the 75th Ranger Dining Facility, we're taking all necessary precautions and measures and guidelines given to us through CDC and our public health officials.